How's it going everyone? Welcome to the channel. I wanted to do another guide on one of the bigger nations which is played fairly regularly by newer players and so I picked France. France is one of the powerhouses of Europe. They have a very strong start in game and once you hit your third national idea, Alan, that gives you 20% morale bonus, your armies are basically unmatched whole game. With a strong army and a strong economic base, playing as France is fairly easy. However, Expansion is somewhat restricted because you're sandwiched between England, Iberia and HRE. So either you need to have a strong navy to counter England or take on the triumvirate of Portugal, Castile and Aragon or face some serious aggressive expansion in HRE. This guide will help you make an optimal start with France and expand into different directions making sure you don't incur too much AE while still growing your economic base. For newer players, I would advise you restart the game until Castile doesn't rival you, and they rival Aragon. If you have Castile as rival, you can still move forward, but your progress will be slow. With Castile on your side, it's going to be easy mode, and you will need strong allies because there's going to be more than one coalition against you as you push into HRE provinces. Let's look at some of the opening moves. Get your level 1 advisors. A Diplo rep or an improved relations guy is very helpful early on. Rival Aragon, England and Savoy. Savoy won't be a valid rival for long and you can switch to Burgundy after that. Ally and Royal Mary Castile. Improve relations with the Papal State so you don't get excommunicated. Some games, Papal State starts as hostile towards France and they will excommunicate you. You can consider restarting until Papal State isn't hostile too. As communication sucks big time, the negative opinion modifier with all Catholic nations is brutal especially combined with the AE opinion modifiers. Move your 13th stack near Laborde and the 15th stack near Seine in anticipation for the surrender of main event. England is your main foe early game. They won't be around for long though. There's a strategy where you attack England first with Reconquest CB before the surrender of main event, but I don't recommend it, as you are the attacker and you won't be able to call in your allies that early. Just wait for the surrender of main event to fire, which happens fairly early game. This war is easy, as your allies will help you out. Just siege down all three forts, then take Laborde, Aquitaine, Calais and Pale from England. When the truce expires, you should attack them again with Reconquest CB. Castile should help you out here and will take care of Portugal. It's important that Portugal joins this war, because you're going to take Sueta from them to get a foothold in North Africa where you can open another war front. So this strategy gives you a province in British Isles as Pale and a province in North Africa as Sueta really increasing your war targets. Once you take our Irish miners and Scotland, England should be easy. They usually don't ally anyone big, so subsequent wars are mostly a formality. Irish miners should be your next target after the first England war. You can either release meat as subject and let them get claims or get a claim for yourself. Either way, you will need a vassal in Ireland. Vassal feed them and claim all of Ireland. When you're halfway done there, revoke your guarantee of Scotland. Scotland are an easy target once you get the province across the strait. After these wars, there are a couple of events that will decide your attack plans. First is the Iberian Wedding. If Castile gets Iberian Wedding early, you can't attack Aragon, which isn't ideal, but on the bright side, you have a super powerful ally now. However, if Paradox RNG is kind to you, the event won't fire until late and you can attack Aragon. You can humiliate them for power projection and take a province and release Catalonia, which will help you with the Reconquest CB. If you're really lucky, you might have enough time to get the age ability for transfer subject at half cost so you can get Naples from Aragon. Getting all that rich Italian land for 200 Diplo is priceless. The other event is the Burgundian Inheritance. Now there are ways to make it happen quicker such as sieging down all Burgundy and waiting, but that strategy isn't very viable as the mean time to happen is absurdly large. This is an RNG event and you can't play around it. If you get it, great. If not, you just have to fight Burgundy bit by bit. Taking Sueta from Portugal is crucial for a couple of reasons. One is that you can get a claim and expand in Maghreb now, which is great because otherwise you'll be sitting idle waiting for AE to die down in Europe. Another reason is that Morocco or Castile would often attack Portugal after that and take them out or cut them down to a couple of provinces. This gives you an opportunity to attack and vassalize Portugal. Now you can get colonies from your subject without having to take exploration ideas. Make sure you don't spend any admin points in North Africa though, as all the provinces have increased coring costs. Keep releasing vassals and integrating them timely. You can jump to Denmark once you have Scottish provinces. You will need to build a decent sized navy though. The timing of this war is entirely up to you. 
There is no rush, but if you attack early, you can take on Muscovy before they form Russia, making expansion in that region easier. The extra 50% AE in HRE provinces makes the expansion in Europe really slow. There are a couple of ways to deal with it. One, you can try to become the emperor. Although this is complicated by reformation and religious league wars, as you don't always control which religion gets control of HRE. Other way is to dismantle HRE, which is my preferred way. This is easier to do right after the religious league wars as typically there aren't too many electors. Once you get control of all electors and emperor's capital, you can dismantle HRE. Participating in the league wars is entirely up to you. It will depend on if you want to convert to Protestant or to remain Catholic. I usually don't participate in it because I can't be the leader and AI picks the worst time to start the war. France is such a strong nation that you basically need one major ally all game. Getting two allies early game will ensure that coalition doesn't attack you. One of them will be Castile or Spain at the start and the other is Ottomans. Ottomans are the best ally till late game, when they will break the alliance because they want some of your provinces. You should use most of your relation slots for vassals. You should have a lot of vassals all game. There's also an option to diplo vassalize Navarra at the start. I wouldn't recommend it on current patch as the Navarran succession crisis happens fairly regularly and it's not worth fighting Castile or Aragon over just one province. Next, let's look at ideas. I like to start with influence because of reduced AE at the start. Also the diplo annex cost and speed is very helpful for integrating your vassal swarm. Next I take admin ideas just for the coring cost reduction. I usually only take the first two here and then finish it up later when I have spare admin points. Next is offensive for better generals. Then humanist because by this time you will have a lot of provinces of wrong religion. You can also go religious but humanist is easier if you want to expand fast. After this it's up to you. You can take diplo and then couple of military ideas. France has one of the highest number of nation specific events. You will get a lot of good events for specific advisors late game. You also have the surrender of main event we already talked about. Then there are a couple of disasters events specific to France. War of Religions event can fire in Age of Reformation if you have 75% or less religious unity and if you haven't completed humanist ideas. You can convert to Protestant to avoid it, but it's not necessary. If you stay Catholic, you get the Edict of Nantes decision giving you an extra 25% religious unity. Combine that with the 25% from Humanist and you won't have any trouble with troubles. So as France, you can either stay Catholic or go Protestant. Things will work out eventually. French Revolution is another disaster that is specific to France. Although every nation has a revolutionary disaster, France has some specific events related to it. I won't cover the revolutionary part in this video as we don't know how the government reform system in upcoming 1.26 patch is going to change things around. My plan is to make a separate video on going revolutionary along with France revolutionary disaster after the new patch is released. For achievements, you can get 2 out of 3 France specific achievements with this strategy. Getting all French courses is easy and you will have that in the first few years. Owning Vienna, Berlin and Moscow is a bit tricky, but if you play the blobbing game, it's very achievable. That leaves a third France specific achievement, the big blue blob. I should mention here that this is one of my least favorite achievements in EU4. The reason is that if you play on getting 100 European provinces before 1500, your strategy is going to be vastly different from your usual strategy with France. This achievement does not synergize with long term gameplay at all. You basically have to avoid going into North Africa altogether and focus your tech on military and don't take any admin techs. I might do a separate video guide on getting the big blue blob achievement later sometime. I usually like to accompany my guide for the time lapse video. However, my last playthrough as France was suboptimal to say the least. The RNG just wasn't working for me. The Iberian Wedding fired really early so I couldn't take any land from Aragon or Naples early game. The Burgundian Inheritance never fired and later they joined the HRE. I didn't get any single PU either. Mid game I was handling different coalition truce timers really well but then my ally the Great Ottomans called me into a war and decided to give me too many provinces leading to a huge coalition in Europe. The coalition never attacked me but it really slowed down my progress into HRE and on top of all that I got 3 regency councils in my game. That has never happened to me and when the 3rd regency council started I quit playing. So. Despite the lack of a good time lapse, I hope this guide helps out some newer players who are looking to try their hand at playing France. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.